Okay, so some rather bad news for the Detroit Lions. So the Detroit Lions center, Frank Ragno, is dealing with, ready? This is a new one, a fractured throat. Never oh, heard of that in my life. I, I don't I'm think I in the NFL. Fractured throat. It sounds painful as hell. It so, does. So get this. So even though he suffered this injury in the first quarter of Sunday's loss versus Green Bay, he did not miss a single snap in that game. He played the whole game with a fractured throat. So, hey, credit to Frank Ragnall. I mean, that's a tough SOB right there. Um, <laughs> keeping it real with you. Um, so he did not practice Wednesday. And according to, according to the National Center of Biotechnology Information, this injury can cause trauma to the links. In general, can disrupt uh, respiration, swallowing, and phonation, which is the process of vocalization. Um, he can eat and breathe, so that is good news, but he is not supposed to talk. Uh, the missed time he will be uh, the time he will be missing is unknown, and this was reported by Ian Rappaport and written by Kevin Patra. So I'm gonna start with you, Nate. What do you think about this injury? Uh, well, first of all, I just want to wish him the best. Of, hopefully, uh, obviously, give him a speedy recovery. This is new to me. I've never I've never heard of anything like this before, especially in football. It just goes to show you how brutal the sport of football is. Um, but what, what really surprises me is that he actually played through it, you know, right. with, you know, with an injured throat, you know, you see, a, you see it a lot in hockey, a lot of guys breaking their jaws and stuff and they can't talk, but it's actually a throat, you know, and he can't talk from that. That must be even, that must be even more painful. I mean, I can't, I can't tell you for sure. I've never done one or the other, but, you know, at least he can eat and, um, what was the other thing he can, he uh, can breathe. eat and, he can eat and breathe, which is a good thing, but he can't talk. I mean, that must suck. Well, that must he can't. He's not supposed know. to. He I'm can't. He's just not supposed to. Oh. Yeah, because it's probably going to, like, probably going to uh, affect the way it's healing. But, um, I mean, I don't know how he's going to go through it, especially with an injured throat. Um, You know, at least he can do simple things like eat and breathe. Uh, Did it say he could drink? Um, I assume he can. Yeah, I assume he, I assume he can too. So you know, good thing. I'm assuming he's gonna have to. I mean, obviously, even if you don't actually drink, you do take showers and stuff, and water yeah. does go in your mouth. So like, I assume he can. Yeah. But um, let me say this. So obviously, I wish him a speedy recovery. But here's the weird thing: because you're a center, right? His mm-hmm. time of coming back might be a, a little longer than what people might think. And the reason why is because a center's job is supposed to. They're supposed to read out certain guys in the defense like if you look at the center if you notice sometimes you see the center pointing he's like pointing to the defense some defensive guys like he's kind of pointing to them seeing who's blitzing yeah. and who's not they have to communicate that with the quarterback like 50 what I, like for instance like at 53 if he thought 50, number 53 was gonna blitz i'm just coming up with something random he would say you know 53 53 and he'd point to 53 so you also got to realize the center is basically the communicator on the offensive line. You know, he kind of sets up everything to let the quarterback know, hey, watch out for this guy and watch out for that guy. So, like, if he can't talk, if he's not supposed to talk, he's probably going to have to wait till his throat's 100%. Because if you're talking while – if you're t- if your job as a center is to talk and to yell, you're only causing more pressure on your, uh, on your throat. Yeah, right. If you get what I'm saying. So it's not like he, like, hurt his leg, you know. Or it's not like he hurt his arm or something. He hurt his throat. So, which means he might miss more time than what we – actually, he might miss the rest of the year because there's only two weeks left in the year. I hope that's not the case. I hope he has a speedy recovery. But that's exact. But realistically, that's my, that just might be what it is. But as a center, you're supposed to speak. As a center, you're supposed to communicate and you're supposed to yell. The more he yells, the more pressure he puts on that throw. And Frank Ragno is having one of the best – having one of his best – um his best seasons of his career. And, you know, he's a nomination for a Pro Bowl. Or even if he misses these next two weeks, I expect Frank Ragno to be a Pro Bowler. But, you know, the pro, obviously with the Pro Bowl going on this year, it's completely different than, like, what it usually is. So, like, due to COVID. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm expecting Frank Ragno to miss the rest of the season. Let me keep it real with you. Because as a, cause I, don't want, I don't want to see this dude put more pressure on his throat and end up kind of hurting his links more, like they said. So, but um, with that being said, I do wish Frank Ragno a speedy recovery. If he does make a full 100% recovery before two weeks, then I do expect him to play. But um, if we get any information on Frank Ragno, we will definitely let you guys know. So good luck to him and good luck to the Detroit Lions.